Okay, good morning. We're riding along the Yamato River on our way to a flea market in Yao City. Did a little cycling in the morning because I got up early. And now I'm off to meet my friend and go to the flea market. Here we are, here we are. Yao Flea Market in Kyuhoji. It's hot, hot, hot today. Let's see what we can get our hands on. Wrestling magazines, anyone? Here we are with the ubiquitous Japanese figures. These things are everywhere. Finally got some games, DS. There's Nobunaga's Ambition on the PC. Ooh, looky here, Mario figures. What do they cost? 2,000 yen? Oh my god. Finally some retro stuff. Tetris. And a Mahjong game. Here's Monster Hunter 3DS, some PlayStation 2 games, and books, books, books. Oh, poor PlayStation 1, going for 500 yen. Mario Party 2, guys said it didn't work, still wanted 300 yen. This is pretty funny. It's a 997 games in one. Basically just eight games with 997 variations. Um, it's pretty fun though. Never seen it. Picked it up. <laughs> Saw this guy when we came in and hit it up on the way up. You can see two boxes of scrolls for 200 yen each. I mean, that's ridiculous. That huge helmet went for 200 Here's my friend Yuichi what is helping me unroll 10 million scrolls to see what they are. Here's a recycle shop we hit up on the way home. Had a lot of retro games, a lot of peripherals. Here's a handle for Mario Kart for the DS. Here you see a bunch of Wii PSP games. <laughs> what is it? And of course, Elmo. Oh, you should buy it for yourself. <laughs> How much are you? How much? Too much. Here's some of the box games. They had a couple box pachinko games. Not interested in pachinko in real life. Not interested as a game. Um, these are a dime a dozen. Here's Yoshi's Story. I have it, not in box, but I didn't pick it up. Here's some Xbox, Wii. Here we see some Famicom emulators. That one's a portable emulator. Super Mario 64. Okay, more. Grand Prix 2. 2? Do you know? Yeah. Space Invaders. How much? What's this? this okay. Okay, hello. This is the pickup video for what we got at that flea market. Uh, first thing I got was this little Han Solo and the Kubrick. Uh Inside sealed, here's taped. I got this, a little Yoda, 
which is the same thing, a Kubrick. And uh, this little Mario figure, just something to put in the game room. All three of these for 200 yen. This here goes for about 2,000 yen on eBay. Um, also picked up, if you saw in the video, this little mini game, mini brick game. Uh, basically just a, what was that, Game & Watch ripoff. Probably from late 80s, mid 80s maybe. Uh, says 997 games in one. Uh, it's basically just these eight games and 997 versions of each. Uh, it's basically just Tetris. Um, not gonna play it, just have it set up as a little display. Also, you saw in the video, we picked up a couple scrolls. Um, this one's kind of nice. It's got uh, these two traveling guys, kind of old samurai. Got a little poem there. And the cool one. We got uh, we got this dragon. It's a little bit shorter scroll than usual. Uh, this is a typical dragon picture, Chinese, Japanese style. And I picked these up for 200 yen, basically two dollars U.S. Got them up on eBay for fifteen dollars. Probably could get more, but don't want to be greedy. Uh, the thing with scrolls is. If you go on eBay, there's 10 million of them, and uh, I mean, some are $10, some are $10,000. So I think people get just overwhelmed with all the scrolls that are out there. So I think the best thing is just find a cheap one that you like. I mean, it's not an investment. If you like it, it looks cool in your room. No, if it's 10, 15, 20 dollars, just buy it. I mean, it's like wine. Just choose the one you like. Doesn't matter what the price is. Um, got this. You saw at that little recycle shop on the way home. This is a uh, Bomberman Hero. A um, little bit different than the other Bombermans in that you don't fight each other. Uh, it's an adventure game. Uh, a lot of people say it's the worst Bomberman. Oops. But uh, I like it. I played it for the first time. Uh, I got pretty far. Uh, the levels are real short. So you can play 10 minutes, turn it off, come back, you know, next day, play 10 minutes. You don't have to invest a lot of time in it. Um, the only thing is, I mean, if you're going to make a Bomberman game, why not put a versus game in there? You know, even if it was just the original Bomberman as an option, because, you know, that's the reason you play Bomberman is to fight your friends. And uh, here's something else I got. I uh, got it at a different recycle shop, don't have it on camera. It's a GameCube controller uh, made by Hori. Uh, it's a Japanese company. They make a lot of peripherals, um, really good quality. And they're usually, I think they're licensed by Nintendo. Um, they had this one and they also had a blue camouflage. They were about 500 yen each. I just got this one. I don't know why I didn't get the blue one. I actually, I need one more. I have three. But I just got this one. I, I really don't know why. I went back, actually, a, two days ago to get it, and it was already gone. So, um, We picked this up. I don't even remember where, but it was the same day. It's a GameCube One Piece. Um, it has everything inside of it. Um, I haven't played it yet. I think it's just a, a fighting game. Um, most Japanese GameCube games are just fighting game after fighting game after fighting game. So, that's the pickup. Not a lot that day, but this is the first episode. It's, you know, pretty low, low budget, but I'm planning on getting this going correctly. This is kind of just a test run. Uh, if you like it, you have any advice, just let me know. Um, hope you get this more professional going soon. But like I said, this is not even episode one. This is episode zero. So I'll see you next time. Thanks.